Viewer discretion is advised. Should be 400 watts PEP. I like it, looks good. Working fine and signal report uh, about a seven. About a seven, and that's at uh, position zero on the KL 505. Yeah, peaking a seven there, so uh, crank her up to one. Alright, this is position number one, number one on the KL 505, and uh, comfortably on top of power supply between 50 and 200 watts, easy, 50 to 200 watts, and uh, And very little change on the meter, solid seven. still at a 7. Actually, I thought you were doing a little bit better than that, but uh, let's keep going. Yeah, no, leave it where it's too, but uh, solid 7 there. I'm thinking she's working uh, best kind. Okay, so I'll just, I just got my camera going here now. So basically I'm using a present HR 2510. I'm running this into a 400 watt uh, linear amplifier, which is an RM Italy. 
Kilo Lima 505 uh, that's run into an antenna tuner the MFGA 941 Delta uh, the amplifier is running off its own dedicated power supply which is a 35 amp or well, 30 amp 35 amp surge power supply this one right here and uh, so right now the amplifier is at position zero position zero the amplifier is not on is not on and I'm running about 20 watts on sideband at the moment and that explains for the 324 on the main air for the rating. There you go. Well, to me, she sounds like she's uh, working fine. Okay, so right now I have the amplifiers turned on. The amplifiers turned on is at position zero. Position zero on the KL505. Uh, running the radio is running, or I should say the amplifier is running comfortably between uh, 5 and 200 watts or between, geez, between 50 and 200 watts between 50 and 200 watts on the KL505 at the moment and back again to your 7th signal there okay and this here now is position 1 number 1 on the KL505 the radio or the amplifier is chatting between uh, 100 and 200 watts between 100 and 200 to uh, 225 thereabouts, and remember my amplifier is on there. My my uh, RF meter is only go for 300. And very little change there. Seven, seven, eight, seven to eight. All right. Now I have the amplifier at position two, number two, and the amplifier is running anywhere between 100 and 250 watts peak. Uh, if I whistle, I can get more out of her, but I'm not going at it. <laughs> So that's uh, between uh, 100 and 250 watts. And again, very little change, 7 to an 8. Um, and it could be because we're at close together here, too. Yeah, what do you think? Put her at 3 and see what she does? Yeah, uh, you see if I'm lucky? Well, the worst is a pop a diode on my watt meter. Okay. Alright, we're going to position 3. Ready? And this is now position three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And the amplifier is running comfortably between 100 and 300 watts, between 100 and 300 watts peak to peak. Interesting thing, though, you're only hitting about a seven there on peak. Seven on peak? Yes, sir. Right on. Well, there you go. Anyway, so I would assume this amplifier is working fine. I'm thinking it is, yes. Yeah. Right on. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put her back up position two just in case. Okay. I'm going to turn the receive preamp on now. Go for it. Okay, the receive preamp fire is turned on on the KL505, and just give her a second there to uh, kick back in or turn off and come back to Mr. Bill. Roger uh, on that, and again, taking uh, about a seven or taking a seven. Alright, uh, to receive amplifier to work in, give me between, uh, before, give me between 3 to a 5 S units, and with the amplifier, you're well over S9, over. <laughs> Roger on that. Alright, just uh, for a giggle, hang up. Okay, with the preamp on, what's she doing down now? Alright, his head turned off for a second. Try it again there now, go ahead. With your preamp on, uh, what kind of signal report? Uh, there's no more bars left on my screen to, to tell you, or? <laughs> roger, roger. She is uh, quite the signal there, or? Perfect. Uh, just like you know, we're running uh, running 80 watts, from, or actually 50 watts, uh, from the Kenwood into my amplifier, which is the AL811H. And we're pumping out about 400 into a two-element beam uh, point towards you. Yes, well, that, your amplifier is definitely working, no problem at all. Alright, amp is off, and I guess my signal dropped down to about a 7 or so. Right now, with my receive amp off on this side, to give me a 3. Big difference, ain't it? It is. Now come back now, because I, I had my receive preamplifier turned on on yet. Okay, so with no preamp, hang on. Alright, how about now? One, two, three, three, two, one. Alright, with the with my preamp off, uh, without a preamp, your uh, your S three 
and uh, with your amplifier or if amplifier turned on, give me about a seven. That's, that's about the uh, same as what you were doing, down there. Well, there you go. So according to that, both amplifiers are working. They are working. Uh, this the KL505 is not even not even warm. She's uh, she's good. Um, that's what you want. Um, I got this all on video too. Although my power supply is getting kind of warm, you know, on the back, and the 3055 is getting a bit toasty. And your eyes are shut down, man. Not bad, you know, but uh, they're just, they're, they're, they're warm. Yeah, I don't need to damage them. All right, I got the amp now at position one, number one on the amplifier. Uh, you could run it at one that way, then you won't go, uh, won't have to worry about damaging anything. Yeah, for sure. Well, she's like I say, she's 30 amp all day long. What about a 35 amp surge? So, uh, uh, according to that, she can she can run. I'd say she can run an amp three 350 watts max. Right, uh, John, that no issues whatsoever. <laughs> I can see why a few of the boys want to get their hands on that on this power supply. Yeah, uh, that's what you need to have a power supply, yeah. For sure on that. Right on. So, uh, there you go. What, what kind of amplifier you're using there again? It's the American A11, or AL811H. She got the uh, four tubes in the door. Oh, it's fine. Nice toasty warm. Uh, not bad. Uh, I'm after running there for a bit. And she'll get warm, but not hot by no means. Right on. What's the radio you're using with her? Kenwood TS440. With the power supply pushing about 50 watts into the amplifier. Right on. Well, she's working all right. And the amp will do, I think it's 800 peak to peak. And that's running 81, but I never run 80. I usually run about 50. Right on, yep. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to turn off the amplifier now. And you're back to normal. Amplifier is off, and the switch is at position zero. And you're still pushing about 20 watts now? 20 watts on the meter. Yeah, we know. Yeah, about 15, 16 watts. And you're pushing about a four, so everything is uh, working good. Well, there you go. Perfect. Alright, like I say, we got this on video there, so if you want to, I can send it down to you. Sure, give her. I'll add it to this one. Okay. So there you go. VO1 uh, BB, VO1 MDS on 28.500. Uh, yeah, it seems like that amplifier is working. Uh, we're not going to get much more of a signal report because uh, we're close behind each other, so uh, I'm thinking it's working perfect. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Well, you're saying when you're getting that close, it's uh, going to take quite a bit of power there to uh, get an extra dB on your meter. Yeah, yes, sir, but uh, no, no problems there whatsoever. Solid uh, 8 there, you know. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So, here we go. I'd say uh, I'd say she's uh, tickety boo on both sides. Absolutely nothing. Gotta like that. Yep, there's uh, absolutely nothing wrong with the amplifier. She's, uh, she is doing what she's supposed to be doing. Yeah, and what's the, what's the most she could run into that, uh, what's, the, what's the maximum output on that radio? Um, this one here? Yeah. On uh, sideband, the most she's doing between 15 and 20 watts. That's not bad then. Yep, that's sideband now, 15 20. Yeah, Roger. Uh, okay, because the most you can put into that is uh, 30 on size, man. Are you going? Yeah, there you go. She's uh, she just, she's just under there. Uh, I'd say you're safe and good to go on that. Perfect. Yeah. What I got here is that uh, American or whatever. That's uh, she got the, she wrote four tones in her, and I uh, got to say, um, not bad at all for heat. Right on. Nice foot warmer, eh? Uh, yep, actually. <laughs> this big old, this big ass power supply I got here, she can get kind of warm too when you're using her. Yeah, I don't like using it too much though, all the time. Yeah, she's a, uh, she's she's a beast, buddy. She she's uh, there's no uh, there's no switching in that one. No, but uh, sorry, well actually with this with this, with this amplifier, as soon as you turn it on, you can hear the fan kicking in. It's uh, automatically rigged up that way, right? Right on, that's what you want, for sure.
Cool. Well, boy, you're the first person I spoke on 10 meters now. I'd say in about, I don't know, two years. I would say we better that, then so. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a whole lot of not a whole lot of activity right now, but. No, everything is quiet actually. Mostly I get now is on uh, 20, and well, actually I've been running 40, 30, 20, and 18. Yeah. Well, most I runs is twenty is uh, twenty meters there. I got uh, I got this tuner that I can run around, run the Argosy on forty. That's that's about that's about it. Twenty, forty, ten. That's all I use is that chicken band there with the uh, Cobra one thirty eight. Yeah, well, uh, chicken band is something new for me. So <laughs> the other ones there, that's all I'm usually running forty, thirty. Like I say, twenty. Yeah, every now and then eighteen. Yeah, for sure. Right on. Well, I guess I can shut my camera down. Then. Anything else you want to say about your setup? No, sir. We're good. Uh, you'll have a better look at it uh, hopefully next week when I get that power supply for the other camera. There you go. Yeah. I got to get an antenna uh, situated for that six meter now. Give that six twenty B uh, workout. Ah, uh, no, that's what we should have on it. Yeah. The weather wasn't great, but the, the, the next fine fit day now to put up a six meter. I'm gonna do it. Yes, no rush. No rush, no rush, she says, no rush. Well, I haven't said that uh, springtime and usually six meters starts uh, peaking a little bit, so I'll probably uh, sooner than later get it done, you know? Like you would. Yeah, I gotta do the same. Right on, yeah, cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna shut the camera down and uh, we'll uh, I'll discombobulate all this mess. We got the I got the radio on the bench, got the amp on the bench, I got the power supply vertical, and I got my antenna tuner sticks sticking on top of her horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like my desk there, but I want a man. Oh yeah, she's a she's a brute. Well, that's it, all right. You don't have to run with it and just a quick test for morning. You're you're all good to go. Yeah, that's for sure. All right, well, I'll uh, cut the camera off there now. Uh, VO1BB, VO1MDS on 28500 megahertz, upper side band. Uh, that, sir. We'll pick it up with you on the other radio. Uh, VO1MDS, VO1BB, clear. Yeah, right on. Uh, you have a good one, sir. Thank you. Thank you.